Today we're talking about Kriyas. Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa West, and welcome to Living Air Yoga. Today's question comes to us from SpeakPike on my website from Erica. I just have the question regarding uh, Grigia. Um, What is exactly Grigia? I thought Grigia was like a vinyasa, but that in Kundalini you say Kundalini Grigia instead of Kundalini Vinyasa. So as Erica mentioned in her message on episode 188 of Namaste Yoga, we started with a Kriya to energize. And so that's why she's wondering what a Kriya is. And so Kriyas are most prevalent in the world of Kundalini Yoga. And so I went to one of my Kundalini Yoga books for a definition of what a Kriya is. So I went to the Kundalini Yoga is the name of the book by Shaktikar Khalsa. And the word kundalini, not kundalini, sorry, kriya, literally means action. It is an action which must sprout the seed, according to Yogi Bhajan, who is the father of kundalini yoga. With kundalini yoga, a kriya is an exercise or a group of exercises that is designed with an intention to move you towards a specific outcome. Every exercise is not a kriya, it's either a combination of exercises or a specific exercise that creates the Kriya. Practicing a Kriya initiates a sequence of physical and or mental changes that affect all layers of your koshas simultaneously from your body, mind, spirit, energy, and emotions. Some Kriyas are a a meditation, series of meditations, while other Kriyas are a complete exercise set. There are several kundalini Kundalini kriyas on the membership site that we are compiling on our community playlists right now through the Summer Daily Challenge. And if you are a member, I will include the links on my show notes. And we have one for all the membership classes with the Spinal Energy Series, which is one of my favorite kriyas. And we have one for classes with kundalini yoga or kriyas in them. And if you're a member, you'll be able to link right to them. And if you're not a member, you'll have to have a password to get in so you can become a member to get to them. And today I'm going to show you a kriya called the Sat Kriya. This is one of the most common kriyas that's used within kriyas that can be done as a kriya on its own. So I'm going to come down to kneeling because you have to do this kriya kneeling. We're in a bird sanctuary right now. (laughs) <laughs> so you might hear lots of birds or see birds around. You, for this Kriya, you kneel with your, you come to kneeling, you bring your arms by your, by your side and you interlace your fingers with your index fingers extended. Your arms are by the sides of your ears and this Kundalini Kriya involves a mantra or a chant, as many of them do. And for this one, you say the words Sat, like S-U-T, Sat, and Nam, like Mom. Sat Nam, and the word Sat is said long, and then Nam is said short. As you say Sat, you draw your navel back towards your spine, and as you say Nam, you relax your belly. And so you do this for one minute, you work up to three minutes, and Sat Nam means the truth of who I am. So I'll show you, we, we, maybe, shall we do this for a minute right now? Okay, so I'll get Tim to time us. So. Oh, it's starting to rain too. <laughs> Here we go. Sat Nam Sat Nam Sat 
Let's num. Sa. down by your side and this kriya strengthens your sexual energy and your digestive ability to eliminate your internal organs also receive a massage from this kriya so thank you Erica for this question leave your comments below let me know about your favorite kriyas and thank you very much finding a great yoga class is becoming more costly and difficult now there's a better way to self-improvement in the privacy of your own home. Visit Dr. Melissa West at melissawest.com and start getting free weekly online videos. Real yoga for real people.